Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today, I just want to encourage you that if God has made you any promise, he is faithful and he is truthful and he will fulfill those promises. For the promises that are written in the book, the Bible, 2 Corinthians 1 and verse 20 tells us that those promises, they are yes. So you can write your name above every promise and agree with what God says and say amen. Because if you believe, they will surely come to pass in your life. Today, what has he said to us? He says in 2 Corinthians 1 verse 22 and 23 and Ephesians 1 verse 13 and 14 that the children of God, the believers, have been established, anointed, and sealed by God in Christ Jesus. So I have been given the Holy Spirit. You have been given the Holy Spirit as a pledge, guaranteeing or inheritance that which is to come. So it tells us in First Corinthians, in uh, sorry, in Second Corinthians, one verse twenty through twenty three. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen unto the glory of God by us. For all his promises are yes. Verse 21. Now he which established us with you in Christ and had anointed us is God, who had also sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. So all God's promises are yes. So let it be. Amen. They are yes and truth. In him they are always yes. In him they are always truthful. Not one promise of God is no to the one who will believe and meet the conditions. The promises of God, Paul says, were confirmed by them to the glory of God because God backed them up when they preached the good news of the gospel. We see great blessings that God gives to the believer. One of the blessings he confirms men and women in the truth. He also anoints or endow with power. He seals with the stamp of his ownership and he gives us his spirit to show that we are sons and we are daughters. So Ephesians 1 verse 13 and 14, it says, we are sealed with the spirit of God, in whom also trusted, after that we have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that he believed, he were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. So Paul again says in, to the Ephesians, having believed 
or as one believes, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit which was promised. What does it mean to be sealed? It means we are sealed, security purpose. You take your envelope and you want to mail it. You seal it. What did you do? You hide the contents that were in it. In this case, God confirmed or approved by his own testimony that that which the Apostle Paul was doing, it was true. So he confirmed his testimony. He confirmed his ownership of us, the believer, that he gives us his Holy Spirit. When we believe, we become adopted in the family. And so he is saying, I have given you my seal that such one of you belong to the heavenly family so if god has made you a promise whatever it is we can stand upon this promise because all the promises of god no matter how many they are finds their fulfillment in jesus christ his son and all who find in him the fulfillment of God's promise, add their amen. So let it be. So as we open the Bible, a book of promises, we look up to God. And God says, you can have all these through Jesus Christ. So trust in Christ, we say, amen to God. God speaks to Christ and we believe in Christ. Christ reaches down and by faith we stretch up and every promise of God is fulfilled in Christ Jesus. And through him we appropriate and take them to ourselves and say yes lord i trust you this is the believing yes we are saying amen to that which he has promised all of this is to the glory of god through us we give him the glory he is glorified when it dawns on the human soul that God has spoken concerning us beyond our utmost imagination and that these good things, the promises that he offers, yes, they are dear, undoubtedly safe and sure in his son, Jesus Christ. He says, God will give or will do these things for us. So Paul was reminding the Corinthians that it was through the preaching of men like himself and Timothy that God claim or make these promises in Christ. And he was saying to them, if we were false, if we were not true, then God would not have backed up his word. So Paul wanted to show them that they are a part of this bundle, a part of what God is doing. God has established them in the faith, confirming them in Christ by the ministry of of the word he has also anointed them with the spirit qualifying and empowering and teaching them he says he also sealed them and has given them the spirit in their hearts as a guarantee 
so here we have the ministry of the holy spirit again adopting those who believe and sealing them letting them know yes you have an inheritance in christ jesus you have is seal it is a guarantee that is coming back to get you to take you to that place that he has promised in saint john 14 i go to prepare a place for you and i will come back to get you the holy spirit make real in our lives today that which God is fulfilling in the future. Whatever he says, we can stand upon those promises because his words are true. They are yes, and we believe, and we had our amen, Lord, so let it be. God bless you. Thank you again for watching.